Hey, what's up, everyone? Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome to my official review slash breakdown of Season 2, Episode 6 of The Mandalorian, Chapter 14. Wow, this is a badass episode, and especially considering last week's episode, directed by Dave Filoni uh, with Ahsoka Tano, uh, which was an amazing episode right there. I really thought like this was going to be hard to keep up um, or to compete with that episode. And this one's directed by Robert Rodriguez, actually, and it truly does keep up to par. Um, we don't see any of Ahsoka Tana on this episode, but it's still jam-packed with a couple uh, old characters coming back and uh, donning the suit and everything. We'll get to that in a little bit. So this episode picks off right where the last one ended with Mando taking... Gogru or Grogu <laughs> to uh, Tython to go to the Jedi Temple or in Ancient Runes um, to try to find a, a Jedi to go ahead and train him, right? And um, it, it's kind of interesting because you see within these first uh, few minutes of the episodes and these scenes in the uh, Razor Crest, Mando like talking to the kid, and you can see that he really is starting to care. And it's almost as if like he doesn't want to let him go. Like there's all, there's a point in the episode. Um, in the scene where he's talking to him, like, you know, you're going to have to go with the Jedi so they could train you and everything. And you could tell he's very hesitant about telling him. And it's, it's not only that the kid is getting an attachment to Mando, but he, Mando's getting an attachment to him. So that, that was, uh, that was pretty cool to see, you know, that Mando has turned from this bounty hunter from the beginning of episode one of season one, all the way to, you know, almost this father figure caring, uh, person, uh, for Grogu it's it's pretty insane so anyways they they get there with ease um they go to the top of the temple and Grogu is set on the stone and at first uh doesn't really know what to do kind of thing just kind of sitting there and nothing's happening and then um Grogu starts it's like this beam of light which is obviously the force and everything and it's uh it looks great first of all this episode aesthetically looks amazing uh as always it's always been very top notch and everything and you could just see that grogu is calling to the force there's a force binding going right through the sky you know through space so definitely he's he's blending with the force uh for lack of a better way to say that and then uh, a ship appears and then this is where things really start to get good so grogu's busy doing that and mando wants to leave 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 well, anyways, he goes, he lets Grogu keep doing his thing, and he goes down the mountain to see who came into that ship, and what do you know, it is Boba Fett. He uh, tracks him down, and he also has Fennec, uh, from those that don't know, that was the uh, assassin from episode 5 of season 1, who we thought died, but Boba Fett actually went to go and help her out, uh, and saved her life, so basically... They're there for Boba Fett's armor. Of course, that's what he wants back. That was Jango Fett's. He wants his father's armor back. It's his. And at first, there's like a little confrontation kind of going on. And uh, Mando doesn't really want to give it to him. But they kind of make a deal without making a deal. You know, that they offer it. But Mando doesn't fully trust that that's his. But anyways, it, it fate's kind of already made for them. As you have stormtroopers coming in. So Moth Gideon does go ahead and find them. Um, from that tracker that was on the the Razor Crest from two episodes ago. He had one of his spies put a, a detector on his ship. And they found him. So anyways. You have stormtroopers uh, dropping in, dropping in. And we just see Boba Fett kicking ass. I mean, like never before. He, him and uh, Krennic, or Fennec is just... Uh, going to town with all these uh stormtroopers and really Bo boba fett steals the show with this episode he's just kicking everybody's ass and uh there's one so there's there's two i guess convoys you could say that um drop down to go ahead and uh, get the kid and the first one is like almost defeated and then boba fett sees an opportunity to go into mando's ship and get his suit and when he comes out with the suit i mean it's just uh it's pretty insane. It's wild. I mean, he's he's just going to town, kicking ass, and uh, Fennec with the uh, with kicking the rock down and just literally obliterating that uh, that gunner and everything. It was pretty insane. Uh, I cannot. I can't even lie. And then 
unfortunately, they, boom, they destroy Mando's ship, and either before or after this, I can't remember, Boba Fett, you know, with the rocket on his jetpack and everything, because the stormtroopers actually retreat what's left of them, and he just destroys one of them, and it falls on the other one, looks beautiful, it, it's pretty kick-ass, I, I can't even lie, um, and you can see, I'm just, I'm at a loss for words, like, that was so, uh, into the episode, it was, it was pretty awesome, and, Anyway, so Razor Crest gets destroyed, and you're just at, at that point. I was like, "What? Like, like what's gonna happen? You know, like that's his, that's Mando's ship. You know, like that thing has been with us since since the start of this show." And then, next thing you know, the Dark Troopers drop in, and they look pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie, they they look pretty badass, and they unfortunately no fighting with them, but they just drop in at the top of the uh at the top of the temple at the top of the mountain pretty much and just grab the kid and go and boba fett he has his ship and stuff and he's gonna he was gonna go ahead and take him out and everything but mando didn't want the kid hurt obviously so he just tracks where it is big imperial ship they go to and the kid is gone grogu is now back with moth gideon unfortunately so it's it's pretty scary um then pretty much uh it's pretty cool and you know i was thinking that boba fett might have been kind of like a bad guy and stuff i mean technically he was in the original trilogy right but no he actually um after you know they leave the, the kid's gone mando and him are talking and boba fett's like well our mando's like well i guess you held up your, your end of the deal thanks for helping and boba fett's like no it's until the kid is returned to you safely, the deal is not complete, and you, I already have you gave me your armor, so I'm gonna make sure that um, I'm in your debt until you, until the kid gets back to, you, which is pretty cool. So it looks like we're gonna be seeing more Boba Fett working with Mando, which is pretty awesome. So Mando um, had to see Cara Dune to find some information about, um, and I believe that this is the guy from uh, Episode Seven of Season One, uh, one of the guys that was. In kind of that like uh, assault mission thing that uh, maybe got arrested. I can't remember to be honest with you, but he's trying to find information, uh, pretty much just to spring him, kind of like a trap to find Moth Gideon uh, to see if he can get an alert. And then it cuts to Moth Gideon on the uh, Imperial ship, and he's going to view the kid. And the kid is uh, Gogru is just literally getting way better with the Force and everything, and he's throwing the stormtroopers around and everything literally and it seems like he was force choking one of them at one point and and literally thrown around this this was awesome um and it's like i already i get that feeling of like he is going to be a very powerful jedi at some point you know i don't know if, uh, how many uh, how many seasons this thing will go if we get to see you know uh, baby yoda or grogu in his prime and and down a lightsaber and all that i mean that would be pretty awesome who knows we'll see but you can tell he's starting to get equipped with the force um and then moth gideon shows him the dark saber and he's kind of fascinated uh, moth gideon asked him have you seen this before and it's like i want to say by his expression he might have but he also might not have i think he might have just seen a lightsaber before and that's why Yo uh not yoda uh grogu was uh kind of impressed or intrigued by it which is pretty cool, um, but he goes to touch it, and, you know, Moth Gideon's like, no, you're not ready for this yet, and uh, pretty much puts him to sleep, and that's how the episode ends, and so it, it was just, uh, overall, it was, it was an awesome episode, tons of action, and like I said, really, uh, really came close to last week's episode, I'm not too sure which one I liked more, um, Ahsoka Tano was, was awesome, you know, it, it, that was great, but this one was also very good, too, and I'm actually just excited to see what happens next. I'm hoping now that, you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to get uh, Grogu back. Uh, Mando's going to get Grogu back by the end of the season, I hope. But I'm just, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm super excited for uh, next week. I want to see more with the Dark Troopers. I'm expecting that, you know, Mando will be facing off against the Dark Troopers eventually and stuff. So I'm pretty excited to see what happens next. And, yeah, that was... was uh, this was pretty much it. I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. This is actually uh, my first first ever official review of like anything. Um, so definitely more to come. Make sure you tune in uh, next week. I'll be uh, reviewing that episode. 
and uh, obviously I'm going to have more content uh, pretty much involving everything from Star Wars, Dragon Ball, uh, TV shows, pretty pretty much anything that I like. Uh, and if you guys want to see more of that content, uh, feel free, please uh, subscribe, comment, like, share. Uh, yeah, so we're just getting started here. Other than that, Ty Copacetic out. You guys all take care.